Hello friends, we have arrived to the town of Sintra in Portugal. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. I am solo traveling and right now we're in Portugal. I just took a boat. Well, it ended up being a 50 minute ride from Cascais, which is just to the west of Lisbon. And now we are in the town of Sintra, which has been highly recommended by locals and plenty of friends. So I'm really excited to see what is in store. I've been hanging out at my hostel for the last week and not doing a lot of exploring because I've made such great friends, which has been so lovely and I have no footage of it because I've just been really enjoying my time with everyone. But today we're here to explore Sintra. It's already so chaotic and touristy and this is November. So I can only imagine what the summertime is like. The sun is out. Yesterday was red alert for the waves and the weather, but the sun is out. It is so nice to be just in a sweater. Got my sunglasses. Let's go explore this town in Portugal. Also, I'm still working on my Portuguese, so hopefully it'll get me around today. And being a solo traveler, I can also like maneuver through the crowds. I purposely chose not to take any of my new friends with me to Sintra so I could film for you. But yeah, I'm already excited to kind of be on my own and soak it all in. It's gorgeous and busy. You can see how many cars are passing by. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on those notifications. Let's keep making travel happen and I can help you and your travel experience, please subscribe to my channel. Up at the top behind the trees, all the way up there, there's a castle, which I don't know how we get up there, but I'm hoping I can make it happen somehow. Such a cute town so far. And they have, oh my gosh, to my right. Wow, I mean, the colors, the Sicilian style trees. Probably wondering what's the itinerary for today and I don't have one. And the plan is basically to walk and follow the rest of the tourists and try and figure out where to go. There's so many kind of tuk-tuk trucks that are um, trying to propose me to take their van. And one of them said, good morning. And I answered, good morning, bom dia, which is good morning in Portuguese. And he was like, whoa, not expecting that in return because I've heard from my Portuguese speaking friends that my pronunciation is not bad but my accent is horrible <laughs> or just very strong still. So anyway, I also find as a solo traveler, I sometimes don't get approached as much to enter these type of like tuk-tuk romantic cars because people just don't want me to be alone. Like I was saying, there's no itinerary for today. It's super noisy and super touristy. And I overheard a girl saying, I want to be a monkey and live in these trees. Couldn't even tell you what that arch is. And that's the thing that sometimes with solo traveling is you're not looking up what things mean or the history. So what I'm trying to say is if you came here for a history lesson, you came to the wrong YouTube channel. That's what Rick Steves is for. He can tell you all about the culture things. I'm just here to tell you about how I made it there and back alive. Anyway, I just can't get over this weather, how beautiful it is. Yeah, we've got this crowd up ahead to deal with. So far, so good. Let's keep exploring. Before we head up to the castle, I just talked to two tourist people who are just like support people on the street. They're really helpful. But first I asked where are the banieros or the toilets because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay for a coffee quite yet. So we just found them. That's the public ones, but I did give away some of extra change I've had uh, to the woman who cleans them because I always really appreciate someone who keeps a washroom clean and I feel like they probably don't get paid enough for what they do dealing with people's shit, literally. So anyway, now we will go up to the castle and I have been warned it is a hike. So that is why I wore my sneakers and athletic pants instead of jeans. Here's where we're wearing like an orange vest similar to this color and they say Sintra Tourist Center support. Didn't have to pay them anything. I also have a feeling that walking up to the castle is gonna wean out some of the tourists because those who can afford will take a bus and those who cannot will not. But if you subscribe to my channel, maybe one day I won't have to hike my tushy up the mountain for you to create content. It's okay, I need the exercise right now. The thing too about taking a car up is you don't get a stop 
and enjoy views like this. You just get a moment to breathe. The air is so fresh. No one's smoking in front of me right now because tobacco is still huge use here and in other videos of my previous Europe trip I've talked about. I'm not a fan, not a smoker, but come on. Moito linda, so beautiful. Bellissima, bella. I almost went the wrong direction. So when you get into this fork in the road, you wanna keep going left instead of right. Cause left, you can literally see the castle in front of you and right, there's no castle, but there is something else to see. That's the 434 bus, which it says it's a sightseeing tour. I'm sure you could probably pay like 15 euros to go do the whole sightseeing, but I'll just walk. Have I said that enough yet? I had to strip a layer. Normally I keep my sweater on to protect my shoulders. I'm sweating. Probably because I haven't done exercise in like two weeks. But maybe we're halfway there. Keep going. Here's a map explaining everything about Castello dos Moros. I am here. And I have to hike all the way up still. And then we can explore the castle. So the Moorish castle was a military fortress built around the 10th century by the Muslim occupiers of the Iberian Peninsula. It acted as a watchtower over the Atlantic coast and the northern territories, functioning as an observation post of the city of Lisbon. The exuberant vegetation that today characterizes the Sintra Hills is far from reminiscent of the original forest. As a result of human intervention in the landscape over time through agriculture and forestry and the use of the land for pasture, by the 19th century the hills have been practically stripped of vegetation. The arrival of King Ferdinand II in Sintra, inspired by the Romantic movement, sparked the taste for English-style gardens, which have transformed the landscape until the present day. I feel like this forest. I am inside some magical... I don't even know, folks. Like, it is so... I feel like I'm back in British Columbia, which really warms my heart. But. The greenness, the richness, the moss everywhere, the cobblestone streets, the signs. We are first heading up to the church because I figure I should go up to the church first and then kind of cross over and hopefully come down on a different side if they allow that. But it's just amazing up here. Definitely a romantic style. I never watched Harry Potter. Was there any force in Harry Potter? Because if there was, that's what I feel I'm walking into. And with the sun just peeking behind me, like magic moment. I hope you're feeling the joy I'm feeling. And it's been a long time, like three months since I've done a solo travel day and I'm just buzzing to be back. Ooh. Life is good. We are inside the castle. So I just had to wait in this ticket line below down there. You can buy them online, it seems, and it's about the same price as some people while standing in line actually got their phones out and just bought tickets. I decided to practice patience. <laughs> Maybe 10 minutes later. It is eight euro adult to enter, and we're now inside the Moorish castle. And the security guard thought I was Portuguese. <laughs> I said, Boa tarde. And then he's like, mm. I said, no English, please. So now, we're inside. I'm inside the Morris Castle, as I mentioned, and I feel a little bit like, you know, 
That could be my new casa, Casa Nova. Meu, Nova Casa. Meu, Casa de Nova. Still working on the Portuguese. It's chaotic here. You realize it, it actually fell. But these views are unreal. Um, we're kind of on top of a mountain here. I was enjoying a nice seat at the top of the castle until literally a foot away from me. Someone had to have a cigarette. Anyway, we continue to walk now down the castle. I will catch you on the flip side of walking down this castle. I'm pretty sure it continues along. The wall continues like down below and we come out to another viewpoint and then we come back down to the bottom. But I haven't even done anything else in Sintra. Like I've only been at the castle, which is pretty amazing. I just had some cheese up at the top too that I packed in one of my stasher bags and I packed some fuzzy peaches too. And of course water. So after snack time, I'm feeling better. But I told myself that I would eat in Sintra and treat myself. Ran down half of the Moorish castle hill to get away from tourists. Back in my element, baby. Back on a trail. We're going to Palazzo de Pincha. Pina? Pina in English. Anyway, and this trail said 300 meters until we get there. A wee bit muddy though <laughs> for these white shoes. Good thing I clean my shoes. Gross. Need my bone stones. We found the gate. Just came out of this gate. I think I have to go up a little bit more again for the palace. I literally don't understand though. I went through the 300 meters of forest and then I came out to this road. I've already walked down it. Everyone's driving up because it's so steep. The steep side, you are more protected, right? Side. Okay. I don't care. I have to go behind the sticks. He got mad at me, but I don't care because I'm pissed already at myself. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Anyway, down. I don't, I don't even know what to tell you guys. Maybe I should just take a car, but I'm too cheap. And I do like the outdoors. So yellow. I found the castle. It's another seven euros and 50 cents to go inside. If you pay online though, you get 5% off. But I think for me, I'm just done. It's time to go back down the mountainside. I'm also not sure if there was a way to buy like a combo ticket with the Moorish Castle and the park, but it is like literally car and everything chaos. And I'm thinking maybe this trail down the mountainside might be better than the road with all the cars. Great content on that palace, but I can't, I don't know if it's anxiety or just like, to me, it loses so much value when it is just hyper touristy and money driven. Like all those cabs are just waiting for you to take their car and to tip them. And like, I understand that's a huge part of many cities economies and how people make a living. And I'm super supportive of that. But in just in those moments, I just get too overwhelmed. So this trail looks like it goes down. And that's all I really need. I just want to get off this mountain. <laughs> I've really enjoyed my time up here, but it's already 2.30. It feels like 5 p.m. I need to put a new memory card in. I'm done. I might make, meet up with one of the other hostel gals who's also been exploring Sintra today and grab some food. We'll meet you at the bottom. I know it's safer to normally walk in the opposite direction of where the cars are coming from, but the other side of this street has no sidewalk. So we figure it's safer to be on this side and you can hear the cars coming quite fast. To try and get down. Oh, it's Mamma mia! I just want a coffee at the bottom of the mountain! <laughs> Almost there! I 
I have finally made it to that point. It's just around the corner. So I definitely took the far side of Castle Mountain down. And now I am walking, gonna start walking back through the forest where I began. <laughs> So this video, instead of being like a Sindra video, is turning out to be a how to walk up a mountain and down a mountain video. Uh, just give me a like if you're enjoying the silliness of solo travel and trying to direct myself around somewhere new. I'm just having fun with like the stupidity of it all. I feel like if I harp on myself, I'm just gonna be upset and like angry. And instead, if I just take joy, that I'm in this beautiful place with a fresh sunlight and everyone's probably watching me on the bus. <laughs> Who gives a hoot? Like, this is life. I'm really just kind of on cloud nine that I'm so lucky to be able to do this and to travel and to share it with you. So no bad moments here. I just need a coffee. That's all I'm asking for, which we'll find soon. That little pastry I had, the Traverse Mario, I'm gonna have to ask my friends on pronunciation for that, was actually egg whites or egg paste and almonds. So similar to a marzipan, 100% not plant-based, but whew, so good and just a super strong espresso. I'm back out exploring these beautiful tiny streets and gonna head to the next palace. So it says it's only a nine minute walk, but these streets are so confusing. Let's see if we can do it. Because we didn't do Palazzo de Pini, we're gonna do this one. We had to climb up another mountain to get up here. It's 10 euros, which is more than the other palace, but cheaper than both. So, just gotta buy our tickets. So I've heard two of them saying that this walk here was brought from a town about an hour away. It was never really naturally here. But now it is. It looks like baby skeletons everywhere. I wish I had so many more facts for you about this place, but I do not. I am just exploring it as anyone would. You can pay for a tour guide or keeping the budget tight. I just think it's like, a paradise to think that someone at any point in their life lived on this kind of premise is amazing. It's so gorgeous, so well cut, so lush, green, humid, pretty. I also want to say that there's no rhyme or reason to this park. Some people I overheard are starting at the top and going towards the bottom. I'm just gonna show you some clips of some beautiful things. <laughs> You have to come discover it for yourself. But like, come on, imagine this is like your courtyard. It's crazy. We're gonna go up to this tower. One more 
It's pretty epic. I think just a couple hours ago, I was on the top of one of the highest peaks in Sintra, Portugal. Incredible, that's the castle above. And this was the castle I zoomed in at. Our Sintra video ends here. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Hopefully we'll be back to Sintra in the next couple weeks to finish exploring this town, maybe more food and culture and all things tasty. It's ciao for now and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for subscribing.